Hello there. If you haven't heard, NVIDIA makes some pretty cool AI. From stunning video manipulation to some equally stunning photo creation, I've been watching their output with some serious attention. I mean, those faces that look like anyone you would run into on the street, but were created entirely from a computer. Mind-blowing. Projects like that one are created by an artificial intelligence technology called Generative Adversarial Networks, or GANs for short. GANs are a type of deep learning that I won't pretend to understand, but I'll give a simple description of. GANs work so well by reducing the amount of human work required to train an AI to complete a certain task. They actually make use of two programs competing against each other. One will, for example, try to generate what it thinks a human face looks like. The other is a discriminator trying to judge incoming faces as fake or real. As the generator gets better at generating realistic faces, the discriminator has a harder time picking out the fake ones and eventually says that some of the fake ones look real. Those faces actually look so real, it's difficult for most people, including me, to tell that it's not. If you look really closely, you can see some tells where the computer hasn't gotten it exactly right. I mean, look at her teeth. Recently, NVIDIA unveiled a pretty sweet new GAN that can create very impressive, realistic looking landscapes based on a segmentation map. This looks like doodling around on MS Paint when we were 10 years old, and somehow can turn it into real photos, or post-impressionistic paintings like those by Gauguin. This is actually why they named the project Gauguin. So when I saw this a while ago, my interest was piqued, and I played around with it for way too much time, creating ocean sunsets with snowy mountain peaks in the distance, or fields of grass next to dirt roads, just waiting to be explored. Well, we're just gonna put a happy little mountain right here. So the actual source of my fabulous wealth and riches is not playing on MS Paint all day. In fact, I'm a full-time wedding videographer. Eating, sleeping, and breathing video production all day, I see basically everything through the lens of video. Pun definitely intended. So when I saw how cool it is to create realistic scenes with crappy paint drawings using Gauguin, I started thinking, how can I create an animated video from the mind of a hallucinating robot brain? Well, unfortunately, the current demo is not equipped to import a bunch of frames, but it does let you draw a segmentation map somewhere else using their color palette and then import it and generate a robot dream from that. My first idea was pretty simple. I would draw a large scene and then generate a small camera-like view of the scene, panning around to reveal different parts. I drew the scene in GIMP using the different colors from the palette that represent things like the beach, the sea, mountains, then using After Effects, I animated a view of the scene and panned it around into a 30 second video animation. You can't just import video into Gauguin, so I had to export each frame as a separate picture. Then I just imported the first frame into Gauguin and saw this uh, somewhat realistic and also somewhat hideous picture. Then I just had to do it over 700 more times. Well, it's for science. I finally had all my frames generated, and it was time to see what a robot thinks the world looks like. And here it is. source video I made compared to the video Gauguin made. It's pretty trippy looking and I think it's mostly because Gauguin isn't meant to create video, so there's no consistency between each frame. It just creates a completely new scene every time. Still pretty cool looking I think. Then because I'm probably insane, I decided I wanted to make another video with an added dimension of complexity. The third dimension, to be precise. Yes, somehow I was going to create a 3D journey through a landscape with zero experience. I started crappily painting the ground with a windy road to travel down. Then I drew some assets that would stand up off the ground for a 3D effect. 
After positioning all the objects in my scene, I figured out how to position them in the space. I created a camera that would travel down our little road, looking at the amazing sights. After I finished this, I marveled at my little movie. It looked like a sad, rejected level from the original Mario Kart, but it was my rejected Mario Kart. This is a terrible looking Mario Kart level. But this brings us to the exact reason projects like Gauguin are so game changing. Anyone who wants to create something beautiful can use AI to bring their vision to life. So after spending a few more hours that I can't get back, clicking the load button, the generate button, and the save button 700 times, I had all the frames I needed for a 30 second movie. Now this one is a bit weird looking as objects pop in and out of existence, but the mood and vibe of the scene is so much richer. Somehow it took a crappy rejected Mario Kart level and made it look like a pretty cool fantasy landscape. So as you can see, Gauguin makes some pretty impressive landscape art accessible to nearly anybody. It's not made to generate a realistic video sequence, but I'm sure NVIDIA is not too far away from something like that. I hope you enjoyed my adventure with this tech as much as I did. Thanks for watching.